costume. I'm Cindy. And I'm Emily. And this is Steph. And this is Georgia Stitcher. And it's been a while. And we're boring to scout already. It's been a while since we've recorded. Um, it's been a crazy busy month or so. But we are back and we want to tell you all the stuff we've been working on and all the stuff that's been going on. Um, so first, just a short life update. Um, it was the end of September when we recorded last and um, we had planned to come back two weeks. I know. We had planned to come back in two weeks, uh, which was right before we were planning to leave town. Um, but we just got busy that weekend and weren't able to record. So then we left town for a week or a weekend, long weekend, and now we're back. So you want to tell them where we went? We went to Iowa, her mom's old home, mm -hmm. in DeWitt. DeWitt, Iowa. And we went to a wedding. My cousin was getting married, which if you've watched any of our videos, you know I was working on a piece for her. I'll show that later. It didn't quite get done. But, um, <clears throat> so the wedding was a little over a week ago. So Saturday, I guess one week ago, because today is Saturday. So one week ago from today, um, today is Saturday, October 24th, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what happened at the wedding? Did we have fun? Yes. And her, co your cousin, right? My cousin. She, at the rehearsal dinner, found out her test of COVID positive. And so we were... So she was there, closer to her, and we were for longer. But, so we got tested Tuesday, and we got negative. So we did. Yes. So my cousin, one of the other cousins who was in the wedding, um, had gotten a test, but was informed by a doctor that she was fine, and so she came to the wedding anyway, and the results came back in the midst of the rehearsal, and um, she was heartbroken, of course, that she had exposed many of us. And so I saw her briefly, or maybe I say briefly, an hour or two the night before we'd hung out. Um, and that morning, this was about a week, a little over a week ago. Um, and of course she isolated as soon as she found out, didn't attend the wedding. But, um, so we got back in town and we were, you know, I felt like we were probably fine, but you never know with this crazy disease. And so we isolated for a couple of days. Daddy even slept in the basement. <laughs> to hide from us. Um, I think he's fine with that, though. I mean, <laughs> he gets his little man cave down there, but... It, all he needs is a TV and a mini fridge. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but he does love us. He missed us. <laughs> so, um, and then on Tuesday, we decided to get tested, and all three of us got tested. We were all negative. We've had no symptoms. We're all fine. Um, so they stayed home a couple of days from school, and then the school, I talked to the principal and got permission to send them back because they had not been exposed exposed under the official school definition which is what like 15 minutes six feet with within six feet for 15 minutes or more is the technical exposure definition and so and she, they hadn't hung out with my cousin that closely i had hung out closer to her but and she's um, not allowed at school she's a yeah. PTO. i'm you see her every day no. these are the arbitrary rules we live under um which, I mean, they need rules and they're doing their best, but they're allowed to go to school because they weren't directly exposed under that definition. I was, even though I'm living with them, I don't preclude them from going to school, but I can't go to the school to volunteer until 14 days have passed. And so through next week, I'm prohibited from entering the school building. So, I mean, well, hopefully I mean, we're all fine and you, it's all just a precaution, but. You're not able to very much anyways. Yeah. I come in occasionally, but yeah, no, they're very limiting this year anyway. They're only letting a few of us who are on the board of the PTO actually come in the school, but now I'm out, so my colleagues are carrying the brunt of it, um, which is only a few of us, but anyway, so that was that, and then and this week... Wait, this week we get to do, well, technically next week, like tomorrow... Okay, Monday, <laughs> we need to go to school five days a week. Yeah, like four. they've been slowly integrating them in full-time. Uh, last week, they were four days in all of the school, all grades. And so this week, there'll be five days. And, and I can't wait for Red Ribbon Week. First day is pajama day. Second day is Red Ribbon. No, red, white, and blue. Third day is neon sunglasses. Fourth day, which is Thursday, I can't remember, and Friday's book character day, the day before Halloween. Yeah, so they don't, 
they don't do a costume day because they don't want like scary costumes and stuff and so but they do want the kids to allowed to dress up and so if Halloween falls on a school day they do it on that day this year of course Halloween's on a Saturday so Friday they're doing book character day so they can wear costumes to school they just have to be something they can <laughs> they can find a book that correlates it can so. be my skeleton Princess, not princess. We had a book. We found a book that had a skeleton in it for Cameron one year. So I don't think we'll make like scary makeup, but maybe we'll. Yeah, we won't put the makeup on for that part. We'll see. But for Halloween. Yeah, we didn't think about. We have to figure out. So she decided to be a skeleton princess or skeleton bride. bride. Cameron was a skeleton princess one year. Yeah. So. It's a through Z mysterious. And then on Monday this week. For her. It was my birthday. It was my forty third birthday. And we even had a video she can play. I was seeing We're not gonna play. <laughs> you should. But we um Oh well, you weren't fully dressed. Well, you dressed. were. But like, so like my pajamas. You, yeah. But um You're fully dressed though. But I had a couple of friends we were in quarantine because that was the day after mm -hmm. we got back. Um so we didn't go anywhere, which is fine. But my husband you know, was here in and out, being careful, of course, because he didn't want to get close to us until we'd been tested. But um, I had a couple of good friends stop by and drop off brownies and balloons and gifts and stuff. So it was a good birthday. Um, and I had a birthday start, which you will see in this video. So uh, yeah. I think that's it. That's yeah. our update. Yeah. Cameron's not here today. She decided Six to pass. Minutes. Um, she's, uh, didn't work on any stitching really in the last month or so, We're but, crafts. um, they've been doing surprising. all their activities still, your cheery and piano and guitar. I was really, like, cheery before I put this on. They had a game today. She cheered today. It was lovely out today, actually. No, was it wasn't. It. it was really hot. <laughs> I'm sure it got hot, but it was lovely. So. It was burning hot in the morning. They got like three more games this season. She um, thought it was early. We got there at like nine o'clock. I'm not a morning like person. Eight, eight is hard. not early. It is hard. On a Saturday, nobody should have to get up at eight. That's when I wake <laughs> up. I was awake at eight. You're kidding. All right, so we've done a lot. I've done a lot Very since well. we've been gone, um, uh, which is why this video is daunting to start because I didn't, ugh, I just have a lot to show. But so we're going to skip uh, haul. We're not going to do that this time. Yes. We're going to do Takes works work. in progress, Takes finishes, and fully finishes. And so we're going to start oh, with, oh, so and stay tuned to the end. I don't think it'll be a long, even have a lot. Hopefully it's not a long video because we have a my big reveal. Big reveal. So Huge. stick around. It's going to be awesome. Huge. But first, but first, if you watch Big Brother, hashtag <laughs> but first, let's do our whips. So you want to do your whip and fast progress or mine first? Works in progress. You're right. oh, I'm learning from that light. Okay. You're okay. Just got to get used to like being into the spotlight. Uh. <laughs> All right, so first, water in no particular order, except just kind of what's nearby, I've stacked up. So basically, I pulled off the Q-snap and ironed anything that is either, of course, finished or that can't be fully shown in the Q-snap. But if I'm not far enough to, if you yeah. can see it all in the Q-snap, I've just left it in there. So hopefully that's okay. I'm gonna show so that. first, <laughs> hang on, no, leave it on. Don't, don't take it off. Don't take it off. All right, so first up, I did some work on my Prairie Schooler alphabet. Uh, if you remember, I think it was the last video, I went through my dilemma of the fabric and my restarts again and again. What so, um, that's the, I'll show you. So don't, don't worry about this. Okay. So my Prairie Schooler alphabet, um, I used, by the way, this cross stitch journal from Fat Quarter Shop, which is really awesome and highly recommend to keep track of all of the deets. So. I am doing this on 32 count lamb's wool. No, 35 count lamb's wool. That's the one I started on at first. And it is two over one with the called for DMC. I'm still on A. I'm gonna put them all on one big project, which is why there's so much fabric. But this is how far I've gotten. Look at her thing, she loves salt. Yeah, I got a salty needle minder which yes, I love. Salt. I'm definitely a salt person. Um, and so, as you can see, I've got the boat. I've got to do the A is for anchor. And this is a very long-term project. I do not have any kind of target deadline finish on it. I love it. And so I just work on it when I want to work on it. Work on it when you want to work on it. 
that's a hashtag. All right, then I have another, a new start. Started another Hade, which I shouldn't have, but I wanted to, so I did. Um, Heaven and Earth Designs, and this is called Quick Stitch Storytime. The artwork is by Bridget Ashwood, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is gonna take a while. I'm working through it. It's a kitty. Look at that kitty. I thought Heaven and Earth was the other one. Oh, you're talking about this stitch project. I thought you meant our video. Um, and so it's 400 by 286. So it's for a Hade. It's not massive, but it certainly will take a long time. Um, it's a lot of stitches. I am doing this one. This I am doing one over, no, two over one half stitch. So I've tried it. I'm trying to do a half stitch one. So this is a two over one half stitch. I'm doing it extreme cross country. I'm not very far, obviously. Cross um, isn't that a running thing? It is a running thing. It's also a cross stitch thing. So, um, yeah, I'm basically kind of in the books up here in the top corner. Can't see much, but it's coming. And again, I just like having a hay to work on. I've got two now, and that's all I'm going to start for sure. I've bought some more patterns, but I'm not going to start anymore until I see some real progress. I see all of these lovely projects on Instagram, people who have like the picture actually showing up and I don't have that. So oh, someday. Mama. That's my one start since mama. last time. <laughs> this doesn't light even do anything. It lights us up. You want to stop whining? You want to help? All right, so this is my Autumn Lane Stitch Lawn, Dark Queen of the Sea. Part two was released this month. Part three comes out first of November. I need to get caught up. I'm close. You want to show? Oh, yeah. It's not. Want to show? Oh, I know what it is. I know what the girl is. Well, it's not a mermaid. That's what they said. It's a swims, not swims, um, scuba diver. A scuba diver, you think? That is what it's supposed to look like. Not quite caught up yet, but we're getting there. She it's called be Under the big. Sea Fabrics, Mom. Under the Sea Fabrics is who made the fabric. It's the Dark Queen of the Sea is the name of the stitch along. And it's, it's designed by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Maybe it's the um, so, octopus lady from The Little Mermaid. I think it's a, a design they created. But, <laughs> so that's going to be cool. I'm going to get caught up. I've got another week to get her finished before the new release comes out on November 1st. Another stitch along I'm working on. I don't have a cover to show because it is a mystery coming out daily, is the um, Stitch um, Stitchonomy's Halloween 2020, and I am current on this, which I'm really proud of. I did not think I would be able to keep up with it, but it is fun because they're just little daily blocks, and so you can see the, newt is something. the eyeball, the eye of Newt here um, kind of looks like a coronavirus. <laughs> and the toilet paper. And the toilet paper. Love they gave a dual purpose for the toilet paper. They said toilet paper is appropriate for Halloween because people get their houses toilet papered. But of course it's 2020 as well. So you had to get the toilet paper in there. So oh, that's I said what that one is. I said it was only 2020 because you told me that. Unicorn needle minder. Yeah, the unicorn pig, pig of corn. Oh, yeah. Needle minder. Um, so yeah, so it's, I'm keeping up with that. And there's only so not eight more days. They released today a little while ago. I haven't updated today's, but otherwise I'm caught up. So that's fun. I think I'm boring her. Yes! You have some more stuff. I know, I'm working on it. Here, that one. I, this is one I started a while ago, but I got a little work on. Really not much. Hey, hello. Yeah. Um, so it's a Dimensions Gold collection kit. I know, I'm sorry. And it's really not very far. <laughs> it's kind of full coverage. I mean, there's, it's not officially full coverage because there's some sky. It's this building that I'm in the flower. Yeah. So the building and the little flower beside it, or the plant, is kind of all I've got going so far. But there's some sky that aren't, isn't technically stitched, but it's pretty heavy coverage. Um, so it's a long term project, but it is a kit, of course, kit floss. Stitched on Ada, which is the kit fabric. Um, so that's kind of fun. I got a, just a little bit. I think I did one day on that. Um, I did, started another Dimensions kit um, that 
you know what? We're not gonna show because it's a gift and we're not gonna say for who. And that person might conceivably watch our video. So we're gonna skip it, that's good. I also have, if you remember the, the wedding project. But what if they bought this? So the wedding, so the wedding project, if you remember, I was working on this for my cousin's wedding. I was planning to get it finished before the wedding. It's gonna have their names, of course, not this is the generic, but. Um, and I was gonna have it done and try to get it framed and finished and all that before the wedding. And I got to thinking that wedding weekends are crazy. And this one was more so than most because of the infection concerns, but. And plus the, the cousin got it. It's she got crazy. it and they had to move the wedding in the last 24 hours. The location the church, had to change. The church didn't want us there and so they had to change locations. It was. The preacher didn't quit. The, yes, the pastor still the did the. Pastor. Did the service. But anyway, so I decided before we left, before we knew all that was going to happen, that things are crazy in the wedding weekend and I wanted. Um, I didn't want to bombard them with one more gift and craziness and I wanted selfishly a little bit to have them to have time to admire what we did and, and care about kind of the work that I've been involved in this and so um, I decided I'm going to give it to him afterwards and so I need to finish it now um, and get it framed because I want to do a professional framing so it looks really nice um, so anyway it's not it's not done but I got a lot of work done on it and I will get it done soon um, so, Why don't you have the is, heart? I haven't started the red hearts yet, but I got almost all of the tree. There's still some more tree up here I need to finish up. Um, please stop. And then, then I will be able to get the hearts in, and then of course their names and the date. So, but it's made massive progress since last time. I think it's pretty. She took my balloon. <laughs> and hopefully they like it. She took my I think balloon. They will. All right. Another, I started a new Mill Hill kit. I don't have a whole ton. This is going to be kind of my in the car travel project because it's super easy. I think I'm going to start a Mill Hill kit. It's one of the mouse trilogies. Mac and cheese, or Mac cheese. Mac cheese. He's eating the cheese. He's so cute. So I've just got some of his like face and nose. Mouse trilogy. Trilogy. Mouse trilogy. Mac cheese. Mac, uh, mac cheese. Mac cheese. And we're almost done with the whips. Three more. Yeah. My okay. birthday start. You should do that one last. I showed this. Actually, second one. This one. I showed this um, when I bought it as a haul and talked about how my husband and I met playing poker and we're kind of a card family. Yeah. And so I decided to start the Mirabilia. This is the Royal Games 2. It's got the Queen of Diamonds and the Queen of Clubs. So, like a, like a, I know. And it's got the Queen of Clubs on that side, Queen of Diamonds on this side. And the way that it's charted is you can actually so this is two, of course, of the four suits. You can actually make it just one suit, so this top can be duplicated and flipped, and so it's just one card, one Queen of Diamonds card. And then it can also, Cameron says hi. And you, then you can do the Queen of Clubs, and of course I bought the Queen of Hearts and the Queen of Spades as well. And so I haven't decided, I'm kind of leaning toward I, doing all four cards. I think you should do that and those two connected. Both of them connected. Well, if I do four well. separate ones, then maybe I could frame them somehow together. I don't know. I'm not sure how big it's going to be, but I, mean, well, I guess I kind of know how big you, it's going to be. You, if you did all four, then you could do them together on this one and together on the other one. So anyway, that's as far as I've gotten. Cool. This has got my first Krynik experience, which is that sparkly Why thread. Heart? You're not doing the Queen of Hearts. You're doing Diamonds in Spain. Oh, whatever. Stop, stop. Please don't stop. All right, so that's the, and see that you can, I don't know if you can see down here, but you can see the Krynik, the, the red and the gold are Krynik. Um, this, of course, has lots of beads, and just, again, one day birthday start on the Queen of Diamonds. But I really think, I mean, it's ambitious, because I always start a million big projects, but that I will do the Queen of Diamonds and Flipper, and just do one card, and then do Queen of Clubs, Queen of Spades, Queen of Hearts. Mm. Scary, lots of stuff. All right, and then I have been working on the word plays as 
if you've watched us, you'd know that I did October's wordplay and I finished it last month. I started November's wordplay. This is by Brenda Gervais. And so this is the November wordplay I started. And my October wordplay is in the fully finished. You'll get to see that oh, soon. This is the bag surprise. No. And so this far as I've gotten, I need to finish this one. I've got um, a week to be able to finish it. But I'm pretty close, more than halfway. So I just need to commit to spending my time on that. That is the November wordplay by Brenda Gervais. Um, I haven't been saying all of the stuff that I'm doing it on. Number 23. So this one I'm doing on 32 count Ivory Lugana. It's not the called for. I wanted it a little brighter than the called for, but I'm using all of the called for floss. I finally was able to get all of the gentle arts floss. I did do have to do some substitutions on the October one, but um, for November I, I was able to get them all. So it's all called for. And I will say it's kind of interesting that, so on the picture, I don't know if you can tell, but that word cranberries is used, it's also in the Pilgrims. That is charted in Dental Arts Walnut, which it looks kind of gray in that picture. But this is the actual color of Walnut, which is like very similar to the November, which is a different color. I, I don't know if, I didn't think this pattern was that old, but the colors have changed. But this was more gray. That looks less good. Yeah, this looks more brown. So yeah. it's fine. It's still a different color, and I'm doing it in the called four colors, even though it doesn't exactly look like the cover. I've seen other um, floss tubers talk about how sometimes the over dyed flosses change over time and don't have the same kind of look as maybe it was originally charted. But I'm not going to bother trying to match it with something else because um, I think it still looks fine. So, but it was my first experience on that. Yeah, the walnut is um, definitely not gray. So these are the losses in that one. And that is walnut right there, which I'm not sure if you can see it, but I mean, it's brown. It's brown, so anyway, we're working it. It'll be fine. And I'm gonna get that done before the end of the month and I'm gonna fully finish it <laughs> so it can go on what you're about to see in a minute. For November. In a minute and a while. And we're getting there. Only one more whip. One more whip. And, and then Emily's whip. Fully finished. This is at the very end. And my last whip is my forever project. Pandemic. Which by Lone Dog Samplers. This is the whole thing. It's massive. Cameron's sneaking in. She can just let her sneak in. It's 365 by 429. That's what it'll look like when it's finished. I finished just a couple days ago my 17th of 20 pages. So 85% done. Lean back, lean back. This is where we're at. Lean back some more, please. <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't really all show up. It kind of all shows up. So yeah, I've got, I'm covering it, Emily, but I'm working on this one. No, I'm not, I'm working on this one. That's my forehead. That's our forehead. We're almost done. We are going to finish this in November. It will be finished in November. That is my commitment and my promise to myself. Still doing 300 stitches a day. I did miss a few days when we were in Iowa, but other than that, 300 stitches a day and um, it's going to get done. It's going to get done and then I'm going to send it to the framer and hopefully I'll have it framed and finished before Christmas, but even if I don't, it's fine. It's a gift to myself, not anybody else, so on my wall. <laughs> right? All right. No, it's going on my wall. Mm -hmm. my wall. She's the one who worked months on it. So, Emily has a work in progress. So, sisterly love here. Please stop. No, go. Okay, she's fine. Siblings. Okay, so Emily's been working on her Capricorn. By Satsuma Street. All right, and this is how far she's gotten. So she's done a little bit of work. Can you show where that is on it? All right. Hang on one second. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. 
Um, Emily's gonna show us where she was on this Capricorn. So, do you know which part you were working on? Yeah. She did have to, she had the visit of the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, frog. <laughs> That's what you call when you pull out the stitches, frogging, because you used to go ribbit, 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 rip it, ribbit, ribbit. Oh, get it. And so that, there's actually two colors there. They're very similar, but she is working it on, working on it, and so. She's, this is a tough one. This is a big one with lots of colors and on black. But Ada. it's more fun. No, she's doing great, but I'm proud of her for trying something on black Ada that's big. That one's cute. That mommy's going <laughs> to do for her. So, all right. So that's her works in progress and now finishes. So I have a couple of not fully, but finished objects. First one is... I did an ornament, you can hold it up, but hold it tight so you don't know, dust up as a thought. This is Sugar Plum Fairy by Satsuma Street. It was a cute little ornament that was super fast stitch and I loved it for that. Cause some of the mill hills are kind of involved. And so this one took me like two days. Um, That's good. Kind of tilt it a little bit so they can see. So it's on gold perforated paper that you can see obviously that they, you know, it's not fully covered. You can, it's part of the design. And then these are little beads and sequins. And this is a series of, I think there's six or eight of them um, from the Nutcracker. And so I did the Sugar Plum Fairy first. We're gonna do the Nutcracker, the Mouse King, or I'm gonna do the Mouse King next. I wanted her to do it first, but she forgot and did that I one. Did, I totally grabbed the wrong one. She asked me to do the Mouse King first, but um, so. I'd like to get the set, I mean, they're quick stitches, so I'd like to get the set done by for Christmas, but I'm not putting pressure on myself on that, so we'll see. Are you see. actually gonna do one recently? I haven't done that one. I pulled a Mouse King out, I haven't started it, but I, I was doing that Mac Tease, that Mill Hill mouse, and so these are my two little ornaments, they're in the same mm, project the, bag. Little eyebrows, you got little eyebrows. She does have little eyebrows. So, she's, I guess she's close Wait, to fully finished. I think I have to put look, some like. how about that stitch? Oh, I didn't miss a stitch. She noticed the nose. The nose thing. I thought it looked so weird. She doesn't have a nose. I did miss a stitch. Oh well. Oh. Let's go back and look at that. Um, so I, I I didn't look to see how they encourage you fully finish it, but I don't know if I need to put felt on the back or if I can just put a string on her and hang her like she is. Probably be better to put felt on the back just so it doesn't catch the stitches on the tree or anything. Um, so she's not fully finished, but she's not far because she's an easy one. Then I did a fun little prairie schooler. Um, I don't know where the card is. So it's these things, but the actual one for the one I did, it's not in there. It was separate. It might be in the kitchen. Oh, it's on the counter in the kitchen. I gotta go get it. Get my iron on this side of the island. So I did, I bought a bunch of these little cards because they're super cute and I thought they'd be fast. No, up here on the edge. Stop, look down. Yep. Okay, she sees it. So anyway, I bought a bunch of these and I was, I was like, oh, these will be fast. Well, I mean, they still take a couple days. So I picked one out and thought I would try it. It's a fun Halloween. I don't think it's gonna be fully finished this Halloween. I think I'm thinking I'm gonna make it into a pillow, but I did boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Probably prairie schooler. This is done on 36 count linen, hand dyed by Rolanda. <clears throat> it doesn't have a color on it. Um, the boo reminds me of the costume store. The what? Oh, the costume store. So it said boo. We went to Party City today to get their costumes. Um, so I think I'm gonna finish it into a pillow. I think that'll be fun, but it might be for next year. But I finished it. Why? You should do it now. And then that one. the girls asked me, or I asked the girls to pick out. Um, we said we would change it. To pick out some ornaments from the Just Cross Stitch yeah. ornament, yeah. Christmas ornament edition, and I would do them each an ornament. And so Emily picked Dear Santa. But is that an A? Which, this is the pattern. Oh, no, is that an A? Yes, it's an A. That's it's so a fancy weird. A. So this is Dear Santa by Gentle Pursuit um, Designs. And I got it finished. It's 
it's mine. She love puppy. So we gotta oh, turn him into a don't open it all up. So that's Dear Santa. She's commenting on those A's. They're kinda like super fancy A's that don't always look like A's, but that's that's charted. So and this is charted with um Swat LJ silks. And I couldn't get all of them, so I have some Swat LJ, some substitution, some DMC. Um but it was kind of fun. It was my first stitching with silk. And I don't think I got enough. He said it was really hard stuff to find. It was hard to find. And I, I don't think I did enough stitches with it to really like have an opinion about whether I color. feel like it stitches any different. I, I don't know. Is that different colors together? What? The bow? Yeah. So it's, it's a blend. And it's in a little box. Like, dear Santa, yeah. I want a puppy. And I didn't realize it until after I stitched it, it looks like the puppy is the gift and we're not getting another, another puppy. But yes, yeah, I want a puppy. <laughs> so that one's a finish. And I got one more finish. I've been working on, I think in our last video, I showed from Prairie Schooler 2020 Santa. And I purchased all of the patterns from the beginning, from when they started releasing them, which I believe was 1984, and I've decided I'm gonna start doing, I wanna do them all, not this year, but eventually. And so I'm just gonna keep plugging along on one at a time and see how quickly I get through them. But I finished another one. And so I had done the 2020 Santa, and then I went back to the beginning and wanted to do this pattern history, but I only did one of them. This has three different but ones. All but together, there's only three? There's 37 total. Oh, I like this. <laughs> so this is the 1984 Prairie Schooler Santa. And I got him finished. So this is him. So this is done in 100% called for DMC. Well, all called for DMC except the white. It called for a different... Is White. this the first one ever out of the 32? No, I did what the 2021. Person? I showed the 2021 last time. Oh, but like, what's the number? Oh yeah, the first one they released, I think, is 1984, as far as I know. Um, so the white called for was DMC 822, which kind of blended too much with my fabric, and so I just switched it to Blanc. Um, this is on 32 count Platinum Lugana. And I'm going to do several. I've got enough fabric to do several on this. Yep, so is that... that Huh? Well, like, is this, your last one? this is my last finish. Yeah, that's your fully finish. Correct. That's so that's our finishes, my finishes. And now two fully finishes. Do you want me to go? Yeah, but where is it? Where? It's underneath. It's underneath the computer. You go get it while I get this set up. Alright. So my fully finishes. So I am not a fully finisher and I really wanted some of my my Halloween stuff done before October. So I made myself a deadline of the end of September. I would get the um, finishes I had done fully finished somehow. So I spent a day, the last day of Halloween or of September, <laughs> September 30th, I spent the day figuring it out. And so I have three. I did three fully finishes. This is huge for me. So the first one is the first finish I made since I got back into cross stitch. This is a Halloween sign. Yeah, but it was also the first finish I finished. Wait, you put a... I did, I put a little card on the back. This is a Lindy Stitches sticker to describe exactly what it is and when I did it and all that. And this is a sign, um, I think we got it from Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I don't know. And then fabric, I just did sticky board, um, that I mounted the, the piece on, which is 14 count, or I think it's 14, it's Ada. It's 14 or 16 count Ada. And then I, I did a fabric on another sticky board and then put it on a I this piece of wood sign. White and orange stuff. So it hangs in my entryway. I love it. Ah, mm -hmm. It's so awesome. Okay. And then I did my first pillow. Is so this ever? is. Ever? Even when you were a kid? I don't know if I've ever made a pillow. So this is a well, Michelle Bindi Stitchy Patreon chart. Mm -hmm. 
that she created and um, shared with her Patreon and YouTube members. And it's not designed to be used as a pillow. No, you dropped it. So I stitched it up. She was doing a model stitcher contest, and so she just encouraged us all to pick whatever colors we wanted and to stitch it. And so I did, and I stitched it on. Please stop. Um, 32 count gingerbread, I think, or didn't, I don't know, something I had, 32 count linen, and finished it with some cute Halloween fabric into a pillow. I stuffed it. Stuffed it, it's fiberfill. Um, used my sewing, or her sewing machine, actually, Grandma gave her a sewing machine, and I just used her sewing machine. Um, I made a pillow! Yay! So I'm gonna have, I bought a little, it's not a double, it's like a tray. That I'm gonna, I want to put lots of pillows in, and I only have one lovely <laughs> pillow. So I need to I make some more pillows. I want to sew it. I make sewing stuff. Pillow, pillow. <laughs> All right. And my last fully finish was a kind of a creative finish for me, because um, I wanted this one interchangeable monthly as I finish. These are for the world word plays, Brenda Gervais word play. And so this is. This is the October oh, word play. Magnets. Yeah. Well, well no, not, this is no. This magnets. is part of the tray. <laughs> so there's a easel that this sits on. Wait, can I take the magnets off for the shine? I think it's. I fixed it. So, so it just pops off. That card. I put the Lindy sticker card on that too. Um, but yeah, so it's just sticky and board that I glued fabric one. onto. I put my stitching on, I just put a little batting on it um, and put it on sticky board as well. Um, stuck a magnet on the end. And so I then more than one. I had originally two, but then the magnets popped off. And so one is there sufficient. Are two. There so are two it just <laughs> sits there. And then I can put the, the November one in once I get it finished. So mm -hmm. I need to finish and fully finish the November board play. Mm -hmm. And so eventually I will have 12. That nail scratches in the middle. <laughs> she doesn't like the noise. So, yay! Fully finishes! I have three full finishes. So exciting. That's definitely not my forte. <laughs> and more, frankly, what I enjoy, I mean, I love having them, but I don't enjoy doing it. And so I don't know how many much more fully finishing I'll do or if I'll find a finisher to ship them off to if there's no urgency. So. Okay, no, <laughs> okay, so I guess that's it, right? No, nah, my reveal. Your big reveal. Do you got something to show? What do you want to tell them? <laughs> my sloth. Her sloth! Oh, I didn't show you the pictures, but you don't know them anyway. <laughs> you don't need it. She finished it! My first finish ever. She finished it, and we fully finished it with a little felt. It comes with, the kit came with this hoop, hoop. and it's got embellishments even, like these little leaves. It was really hard, and I poked myself with the needle. She started, so. she bled for this project. <laughs> I'm like, don't bleed on the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> but she bled. But look at him. I literally put blood into it. And he is not <laughs> perfect. He's having a few mistakes, but we love yeah. him no matter what. Like the arms and the it leaves. <laughs> I did those stitches under the leaves. He leaf is perfectly but... done. And... and I made a few mistakes, but the leaf covers it up anyways. So. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I picked the felt color too. And I even put it on. She yeah, did. Her and glued it on. Sitting on top. Tacky that was being weighted down. But mm. Emily had her first cross stitch finish, and it's a counted cross stitch, and it's fully finished. I, I like counted better, but I don't really want. I don't even know where my elephant is. I don't want to do that. Anymore. You kind of lost the elephant, but I don't really care about it anymore. You don't let him go. Yeah, I don't care about him. I like him flat. Can we hang it up like her parrot? Of course, we will hang it up. Plus, this is count tab. Her hair was not counted. So proud. <laughs> Good job, Emmy. I was, the mouth and nose was the last thing I did. The nose was a little messed up, but it didn't really show you how to do it. So Yeah, it was actually like guessed. a, they called it a Smyrna stitch. It's not like a cross, Sark, but it's like a, it's like a, it's a Smyrna, but it, it was like a long stitch. And... So the nose satin was supposed to, oh, satin, satin stitch. stitch, sorry. 
it's supposed to I the like, nose no, was supposed to be like straight stitches and then like in the pattern I couldn't get the head big enough on accident so I just went off pattern a little. <laughs> you just but, have to improvise sometimes. Yeah. But I just made it so the white was three in between. So are you happy with it? Yeah, I love it. What do you think you learned the most about this project? You have to keep track of the counting. Like you have to count and every recount row. and recount. And pay attention. And when you're distracted by your iPad and the video you're watching, sometimes you make mistakes. Yeah, mistakes are okay. They are okay. There was this blue stuff on it, but we peeled off the metal. Yep. So good job, Emmy. I'm very proud of you. Can we hang it up? Yes. Where do you want to hang it? I want to put a little string on it and then you hang it like so. You could actually make it an ornament. Except you could put an Christmas ornament or you could just put, I mean, this will hang on a nail right there. No, that's so. We can figure it out. We'll figure it we out. We don't even need a stream. <laughs> we'll definitely hang it up somewhere. So, all right. So that's our big reveal. Emily got it finished and a fully and finished, and it was wonderful. I'm so proud of her. Please. She pushed through when we talked about doing this video. She's like, I'm gonna finish it. I have to finish it. We can't record yet. I have to finish it. So yeah, okay. she did great. So we did this, this right before yeah, the video. We fully oh. finished it right before the video. Because I wanted it to be fun. And uh, please subscribe so I do more. I want to do more. You have to speak more clearly than that. I don't think they understood that. If you subscribe, I will do more stuff. <laughs> oh, you're, you're bribing them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we also, um, we've crossed over 400 subscribers, which we thank you so much. Uh -huh. um, and we're shooting for 500 for our next milestone. And we've got some giveaways. It looks like your tooth was busy. <laughs> so, um... Not, I had so much haul that, y'all, I just decided to put it away. Months, usually it's like 47. This is the second video. we got to put two together. All right. Yeah, so. <laughs> like so I'm not going to do haul, and I just put it all away, and I'll, I'll collect some for next time. Hopefully it won't be another month coming, but life is life, and sometimes life gets busy. So we'll try to be back in two weeks. Um, or one. No, we well, next week's Halloween. Week. Yeah, we usually do one week, though. Yeah, we usually do. We did one oh, week, wait. and then we did two weeks, and now we did four weeks, and so it might be like four months before we come. No, it'll, we'll be sooner. <laughs> Five weeks? Yeah. No, we'll be back. We'll be back. Plan it was just because Two weeks. Were, so, you know what? But then two weeks. I kept asking her, can we do the foster? Can we do the foster? And she's like, yeah, how about after school Monday? And she, she would always say that, and we never did it. I mean... It's a lot of work to get all this stuff organized, so. But I'm glad because I want to finish. She got this finished, and so well. But within two weeks, I should have my October stuff done, and um, so some <laughs> finished, fully finished, hopefully at least the wordplay. Yeah. And so, yeah, we need to get those done. So we will have some. Why are you so serious? Are you serious? Ew. I'm actually touching <laughs> you with my mouth. Okay. All right. You want to say goodbye? Oh, wait. Oh, Susie's upstairs. Never mind. Yeah. Bye. So thank you, and subscribe, and like, and we will be back at some point. But if you don't like it, it's okay. It's okay. As long as you don't dislike it, I don't really care. You can also dislike it. I know, but like. It's quite all right. I We're okay. Really rather than not. No, of course. That's okay. Yeah, I know. It's okay. To each their own. All right. Please be Please be Okay. All right, all right. Thank you. Wave.